Hey, it's Jesse Cervantes with Creative Congo. How you doing? All right, so this is a quick tip, and I am determined to make it quick. So basically what we have are all these bubbles going on in the background, and there's only actually about 12 of them, and they're just on a wiggle expression and a loop expression happening on the same parameter at the same time. And it took a while to try to figure out how to make something wiggle and loop on the same parameter. So, and I haven't seen any tutorials on it, so here we go. And in fact, I'll be honest, this is what we call a mulligan. I actually made a tutorial on this before, and it took about a half an hour. So I'm going to do this uh, in, well, under six minutes. How about that? And by the way, if there's anybody that finds this, this little animation interesting at all, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to talk about that too. But that's not what this one's all about. Here we go. Starting a new, brand new comp, and going to just come up here and make a you know, go to the ellipse tool and make a shape layer by double clicking the ellipse tool without touching any layers. Opening that up and making this a 400, tab 400. So we just have a perfect circle right in the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to Command D to duplicate this one, shrink it down to about 20%. And I'm going to make this one, uh, let's make it darker. That would be fun. And uh, that's fine. So I'm going to grab this layer and pull it down and hit P. And then I'm going to come out one second and bring it to the top. And in, let's come over here and uh, F9 to easy ease it. And in fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and make it lighter because that way it'll look a little bit more like a bubble. All right. So what's happening now is it starts at the bottom and it goes up and stops. And so instead of having to copy this about 200 times, I just want it to loop. So all I'm going to do is come over here to the position, option click, and hit little case, L-O-O-P, capital O-U-T, open parentheses, quotation marks, cycle, because that's the kind of uh, loop it is, uh, close uh, quotation marks, close parentheses, and add a semicolon. You don't have to add the semicolon, just a good idea, good habit to get into. And now you see it goes and as soon as it gets to the top, it starts at the bottom again, and it's looping on a cycle. Great. So, and the way to sort of make it disappear is if you come, if you can't see it here, you go to your toggle switches. If you hit this letter T, it creates a track mat so that it'll only show up. So whenever it's over alpha, it disappears. This is over alpha. There's no background right now. My command K. My background is is uh, white instead of black. That's all. You know, I just changed the color. Um, so it, it doesn't really matter. And then, uh, but now when it comes onto the screen, whenever it goes over another layer, it shows up, and when it leaves that layer, it disappears. And now it's just looping. Well, a real bubble would also wiggle, and I want it to wiggle. And I could probably do that by playing around with the with the path, but let's let's do this right. So I'm going to come back into here, into the expression, just click on it, to, and then I'm going to grab it and pull it down. So, you know, what you would think is just right wiggle, right? And then uh, let's say three times for 30 pixels, quote, close, parentheses, semicolon. You have to add a, now, especially when you start getting to more than one, you do have to definitely add a semicolon at the end. This is basically making a phrase. So I'm saying, I want you to loop out. I want you to wiggle. Okay, let's go. And what? So it like disappears. And I'll turn the track mat off. Basically what it's doing is following the keyframes and then it gets to the top and it wiggles because the way it works is whatever you tell the expression to do last, whatever the last statement you make is what it thinks you want it to do as a final thing. So what we have to do in this case is to create some variables and variables in an in, in expression language are exactly the same as, as variables in, in middle school math. So x plus 2 equals 5, you know, so x would be 3. In this case, you could say x equals loop out, or anything you wanted to. Um, happy equals loop out. And then, so I want you to be happy, expression. And when I say to be happy, that means I want you to loop. And then I also want you to wiggle. And then I come down here, and if I write happy, and the, you know, the, if it's capitals or, or, lowercase, that all matters. I'm going to write happy last. And instead of wiggling now, it's going to just do the loop. And it forgets about the wiggle. Because the last thing I said I wanted to do is to be happy. But sadly, it doesn't make me happy because it's not doing what I want it to do. So here's how we fix that. 
for the loop, I'm just going to put my variable as capital L. And for my wiggle, I'm going to make it a capital W. So I'm saying capital L equals loop out in a cycle, capital W equals wiggle. And what I want you to do, expression, is to do the L. I want you to loop plus I want you to wiggle. I want you to do both of them together at the same time. And bam. Okay, so it kind of, you can see it over here, way over here on the right. It like kind of disappears and goes way over here. At first, I didn't understand why that happened. I asked my friend, Calvin Swain, who's a, another contributor here at uh, Creative Congo, and he's good at JavaScript and stuff. Why was this happening? And he said, well, you know, when After Effects figures out the loop, it starts calculating from here on the top left, which is zero, zero pixels. And then it adds up the pixels to here, adds up the pixels to here, then it does the loop. Then it goes in and does the wiggle. So it starts over again. It adds the pixels from here, adds the pixels to here, and then does the, the wiggle. So whatever starts from here to here, whatever starts from here to here, is how far extra over it is from here to here because it added it up upon itself. It added the value. That's these numbers over here. Whatever the actual number of pixels there are, that's the value. And so all you got to do to solve that is just write minus V-A-L-U-E. Just subtract the value. Subtract one of the values that you added and BAM! There you go. It works beautifully and perfectly. I'll turn on my track mat, turn on my motion blur, and now I am happy. Alright, so uh, the last just short, very quick thing to say about this whole thing is that if you had more than two uh, variables down here, you might you might have to add, you know, subtract value again, subtract the value on itself, or say value times two or times three, depending on how many variables you, you had. So that's the quick tip, doing multiple expressions on a single parameter, doing a wiggle and a loop. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Jesse Cervantes with Creative Congo. Adios.